Yeah, I told you it wasn't gonna give me much good. Yep, and there it goes. Hello everyone! Welcome once again to the Month of Fright! Today on the agenda is They Came From Dimension X! Sounds fun, doesn't it? I can't wait to try it out. Of course it's a demo from Steam. For some of these, I basically just looked up horror demos on Steam. I figured, you know, a demo of a game would be a good way to sort of sample things out. So there you go. Okay, so far this looks like a first-person shooter kind of game. Okay, gravity-screwing first-person shooter. Kind of laggy, though. Which is a little weird. I wonder why it's lagging. Is there a way to change settings? Um, okay. Probably not. I mean, the FOV, I could probably change that, but... Yeah, let's not. It's a demo, so maybe it's just not the best optimized just yet. Wait, what the? I don't even know where I'm going. Okay, I see. I had to jump. I wasn't watching where I was going, clearly. But it's fine. Man, that's trippy. But then again, maybe that's why it's Dimension X. Oops. <laughs> okay. Hey, pal. Do, do, do I know you? Okay, clearly we don't know each other and you're trying to kill me. How do I get away from you? Probably like that. Emergency axe. Okay, then. And a gun. Cool. Great. This is sure not to end in disaster. For all involved. Especially you. This is definitely a Quake type of game, to be sure. Actually, uh, hold on a second. My bad, I didn't quite keep track of the time, so, um... Now I am. Uh, anyway, moving on. Now that I've got an axe, and a gun... Although it's not as optimal as Quake, that's for sure. I'm not sure why it's giving me trouble here. I'll have to chalk it up to oddities. Might not even be with the game itself, the fault may be with my own computer. Although that would be weird. I mean, I know an i5-3470 isn't exactly powerful by today's standards, but um... One shot? Okay. Uh, my health must have been really low and I just didn't notice it. Shit. And again, it doesn't help that everything's so choppy. And yes, I will blame that every time I die. Because it should not be this bad. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Actually... Maybe I can turn the tables on them. Or no, that's actually harder for me. It's kind of harder for me. But where's the axe at? Hey, screw it. I don't need the axe to take you down. Not as long as I have ammo. And I can actually see where I'm going because the game... would be stable enough for me to actually see where I'm going. Even though it's really not. Okay, where's the emergency axe at? Maybe I should just uh, stand still for a second. Or not. Okay, here it is. Found it! Now if it could just remain steady long enough. Okay, cool. Med kit. That's always nice, isn't it? Crud. Well, at least now I know that there are enemies up there. Oh boy. Jeez. I think it's the dynamic effects. It's... Everything goes to hell once they start firing. Because of all the... The dynamic lighting that it creates. 
I think that's, oh geez, that's like an ogre from Quake. I think that's why I died. Explosions, I must have gotten caught in an explosion. Oh shit. Really, more of you? Jackass. You bastard. Grab bombs, huh? Neat. You better don't have the weapon associated with it because they do not have the Grenadier Launcher. Or whatever the equivalent is in this game because this is clearly at least inspired by Quake, if not a Quake mod altogether. That makes me question why this game isn't running so well on my hardware. Oh shit. Man, this is trippy. Oh shit! My health went to 10! Just like that! Oh fuck. This is bad. Better keep moving. I don't even know what I'm shooting at because god jeez this game is so freaking laggy. Seriously, what is up with that? Why is this game so freaking laggy? That cannot be a fault of my computer. I'm pretty sure that's not a fault of me specifically. Seriously, it looks like freaking Quake. It should not be lagging this badly unless it's all software rendered. Which, who knows, for all I know, it could very well be software rendered. But then why would the resolution be higher? A lot of things around this game make no sense to me. Let's see if I can actually change the FOV. I mean, yeah, that's gonna suck, but hopefully that'll at least make the game more stable. Yeesh. Seriously, should not be that that laggy. And yet it is, no matter what I do. Oh jeez. I think I made it worse. Not so much the lag, but a combination of the lag and the low FM FOV. This is almost getting as bad as Killing Time, I think that's what it's called. A 3DO game that I tried not too long ago. Also for the month of October, for the month of Fright. Okay, let's change that back. Just for the sake of my own sanity here. Maybe I can go windowed? No, that wouldn't help. All that does is it makes it tiny. That's probably not going to get me back any performance at all. Real shame though. It has to be a CPU problem too. Because if it was GPU limited, if my GPU was struggling then OBS would be having issues. Because it's had that before. Oh, right. I forgot there's a hole in the middle of the room that I'm supposed to jump into. Oh, come back to me now. This is weird, though. I don't think I'm gonna get past this point. Which is a real shame, because the... Conceptually, the game is solid. I like the, so the concept of the game. Unfortunately, the performance is lacking tremendously. No, I don't think I've actually tried the performance of windowed mode. Because I wasn't in a fight. Let's... Even though it's going to... Stop. Wait, what the hell? Okay, um, it's not responding at all. Okay, no way, here we go. Let's see if this at least... Okay, somehow it's even worse. Never mind. My bad. Luckily, this has a delay for- Oh, God! Holy shit! I take it freaking back, then! I forgot those grenades are the kind that explode upon impact with a person. They may bounce and then have a delay when they hit the ground, but when they hit you, you're screwed, pal. Shit, this game is... Like I said, I don't want to hate it, because... Conceptually, I'm, I'm loving it. 
just need to work on tweaking it. You know? That would be great if there was some kind of, I don't know, hardware acceleration of any kind, really. Maybe if it was based off of a hardware accelerated quake, maybe that would be good. Though there was an open GL quake even back then. Maybe I should try, try it. Because whatever it's using right now, I'm going to assume software rendering. It is not working out. At all. This shit is lagging like crazy. It's chugging like a freight train. Oh boy. I can't move and shoot at the same time just because um, it's not smooth enough for me to do that. It's not smooth enough. Oh, it can infight. And I just ruined it. Great. Oh shit. Out of ammo. I guess um, I just preemptively dodge because they can't fire immediately after firing. So one thing I could do is dodge and then fire. And then when I see him firing again, then I dodge again. Seems simple. Ah, crap. Hard to... Hard to get a lock on him, you know? But at least I made it. Kinda. What the hell's that? Oh, grab bombs. The thing that I can't utilize right now. What even is that? Is that... Okay, that's just part of him. No wonder I couldn't grab it. For some reason, I thought that was something I could grab. Clearly, I was not... I was mistaken. Now, let's see. Okay, that's better. I'll just run out. Jeebus! I have no chance against this guy. Because he rapid fires, and that's really gonna turn the frame rate to shit. I don't even know what's going on here anymore. Oh, crap. Oh boy, this is bad. There's no way I can reliably hit him. I just have to hope he stops firing so the frame rate. Okay, or I'll just die. That works too. Hang tight real quick, because there is no way this is even remotely playable as it is right now. So upon further research, I discovered that it is in fact not the Quake engine. It's an open sourced game engine called Goaded or whatever it's called. Apparently this is made to resemble Quake, but it's not actually Quake. So yeah, that is a bit of a shame, which means the bad performance, unfortunately, cannot be altered. There's no way to reasonably get the performance to a good level, unfortunately. Which is a real shame because the concept is great. I love the concept, being able to walk up walls, having the slopes and all that. I've played a game like that before, but this is more of like a first-person shooter, whereas that was more like a puzzle game. I like the idea. But the execution is really bad, especially on my computer. Apparently, even a much more powerful CPU than this was having trouble with it. So it is, in fact, a CPU issue, as I suspected it was. It's just not good in terms of being optimized. I'm guessing it would have to do with culling, or the lack thereof. Or maybe it's the light, the dynamic effects. That could be it too, considering it seems to mostly lag whenever there's a lot of lights on screen. Maybe it doesn't cold the lighting effects as well as it should. I'm not sure. All I know is that something is causing the game to be basically unplayable for me. Which, again, is very unfortunate. But what are you gonna do, huh? Maybe I can try to run past everything. However, I don't think I'm going to be running past this one. Or maybe I will. Oh wait. Here we go. Um... What the? 
Oh, teleporter. That's good, I guess. I get the feeling that's not going to work for much longer, though. Okay, another emergency axe. Are you an enemy? Yeah, at this point, I have to assume that... Okay, the thing has locked the door. Great. Well, at least it's melee ranged. I don't know if I should consider that a good thing or not, though, considering it is... It is fast. And it's doing a lot of damage, so... Probably not necessarily a good thing. The way forward has been unlocked. Cool. And all it took was getting me down to 26 health. Beautiful. There are a lot of them. Maybe I can get around them. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is bad. How do I get around these ones? <laughs> okay, this is where it seems to be a bit puzzly. Oh, okay, I see. I see now. Just make a run for it. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. That was a close one. Okay, anyway. Um... There's some kind of gun here, it seems. A quad-barreled shotgun. Cool. It's like a double barrel, but twice as much. Sweet. At least I made it this far. Even if I'm not going to make it much farther than this, I'm guessing. Uh-oh. Well, that's bad. This one, I was starting to love it. That is one nice thing, though. I love the fact that they can actually hurt each other. I guess I'll go on until I die, which will probably not take much longer. What the? Oh, shit. One of those things again. So it's, it's styled after Quake, clearly, but it has some mechanics that are akin to Doom. Specifically the whole monster infighting thing. So I do enjoy that. That is nice. Oh, I found a secret. Huh. Supercharged. Oh, shit. Not gonna do me much good, though. Oh, shit. Yeah, I told you it wasn't gonna do me much good. Yep, and there it goes. Unfortunately, um, I think this is where I'm going to have to say goodbye. I would go on further, but with the absence of saves and the fact that the game is basically unplayably choppy, I'm sure that'll change over time. I don't want to crap on the development too much. I know the developing games is a brutally hard aspect, especially when you're a small little indie, indie effort. I don't know how many people are working on this game. It might even just be a single person. Considering it's Quake Fidelity, I can imagine one person working on it. But yeah, I hope it gets better. I wish you the best. But right now, unfortunately, it is... It's pretty bad. Maybe if you have an, an extremely good CPU, but there, there's no reason that a game of this simplicity should have that much trouble on a CPU like mine. You know, I mean, I can run Doom Eternal like it's nothing. My CPU may not be great, but yeah, I can do better than this. Anyway, I wish you the best, and I thank you for watching, and that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like no gravity, or at least warping gravity, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you like what you saw, you can find more of that in these videos right here. If you're a real junkie for video games like I am, then subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already to get your next fix, and a like and a comment are always appreciated too!